So my router went out. Um, I have a modem. Uh, I have cable internet with Shentel. So that's connected to Shentel. And then I have a router separate. I don't have them together. I don't like them together. And my router went out. And I, luckily I had this one as a backup. I have a bunch of older ones, ones that are older than this. Uh, so I uh, got back up and running again, and now I'm going to install something else. Alright, so I've opened the box, but I haven't taken anything out. So what happens is you tear this out, but it's also taped closed, so you end up cutting it. Alright. And I really don't know how to pronounce this. Eero. Anyway. This is the new one, the Max 7. So I'm kind of planning for the future because in case you didn't know, it's like your computer is outdated as soon as you buy it. So hopefully I'm buying some time here with this route. Alright, let's see what's in it because when I went to the website, it was all text. There were no pictures or graphics to install and oh, we're sealed shut here so we'll just rip it on open see what the heck I'm getting into here oh got one on this side And there they are. Okay. They are well packaged. They're pretty good size, too. My goodness. Alright, let's see what we get. And I got three because I live in a ranch house and a full basement and an attached garage. So in order to... Um, get that whole area I decided to go with the three pack here. So here's all of this stuff and we'll see what the instructions say because when I went to their website it was all words no graphics so let me hunt that down. Alright I downloaded the app which I'll show you in a minute and it says what you will need is an internet connection so if you're starting from scratch your SOL I know there's a way around it but I don't need to go around it so that's not going to be part of this video and a modem I have a modem I showed you uh, download the app to your smartphone and your smartphone's going to need a separate internet connection too so I have a cable internet from Shentel, and then I have internet on my smartphone from, from Verizon here. Let's see. And I've downloaded the app right here. And I haven't done the setup or anything yet. So let's start getting this thing going. Alright, start setup. Alright, you ready to... Need a gateway, power cord, ethernet, modem. Alright, your existing modem. So you scroll up to hit start. Jeez, <laughs> that's if you get anything out of the video, that's gonna be one of the big ones. Alright, and here are all the instructions because there are no instructions that come with the equipment. Alright, the first three steps are to unplug your modem, plug in the Aero, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, you know, hook it up to your modem, throw the power to it. And those are the first three things, and then you hit the little arrow right there. So let's, let's do that. All three of these are identical. So we have a 2.5 and a 10. So... Let's get it going. Alright, I'm just going to pull one of the power cords out. The Ethernet cable is very nice. Um, they say to use theirs. 
uh, for the speed. Uh, so why not? All right, so here's the power cord. Here's the other end of the modem. I just plugged it in the 10 gigabyte and should be able to power it on, I believe. We'll see. Oh yeah, I see. I see light. Okay. okay, I need to allow my phone to find it. Looking for the gateway. And it found it. Alright, so I do have a uh, 2.5 and a one and it says to connect it to one of the two 10 ports 10 gigabyte ports which I did and of course I misunderstood it I have a one and a 2.5 on the modem so I plugged it into the 2.5 alright so we'll hit next Oh, connecting to the internet. Hopefully I have enough bars down here in the basement. Alright, so I had a lot of trouble and I turned my Wi-Fi back on and then I turned it off and it found it. And first of all, I typed in the serial number. It sent me to the bottom here. Uh, and I typed it in it said it didn't find it but it allowed me to scan it in and then it found it so I don't know maybe my zeros and O's were different uh, but anyway got it so this is the next menu that came up and where is it I'm saying basement and give it a Wi-Fi network name and password. Use your existing Wi-Fi name and password to avoid losing conductivity on your connected devices. So let me do that. All right, I put in my Wi-Fi name and uh, password and my basement Euro Max 7 is now set up. It has power and it's connected to the internet and is well placed. Yay! Finish setup. Also the light changed from blue to white. You can see that. Kind of a almost a reddish pink. Anyway, so there's the first one. Uh, let's see what I have to do to get the other guys going. Alright, it says update now. So it says to install now, get the latest and greatest, I guess. So let me do that. And no, uh, install now. Your network is now updating. No action is needed. We'll take it from here. Got it. Uh, meet your built-in smartphone hub. Oh, I do not care about Alexa. So that is a skip. Alright, now I'll read the digital security subscription. That's probably a skip too. Well, let me see if I can uh, go back to Wi-Fi here. What's my Wi-Fi setting? Yeah, the 5G. Yeah. So, I think I'm connected there. Let me make sure my computer's connected too. Alright, my computer's all hooked up automatically. Um, the uh, Fire TV sticks that I had, I just had to repower them. Uh, the TV said it was connected to the internet, but you know, I couldn't get any Fire TV, so I just unplugged it, let it reboot, and boom, it's working now too. 
All right, let me see if I can add another device, and I'll just show the second one. The third one's going to be the same if I do it correctly. So I go back to the phone, and I hit the plus sign, and I'm going to add an indoor. And next, and place it centrally located, yeah, yeah. Uh, put it out in the open, yeah, yeah. Away from electronics, yeah, I'll do that. Uh, plug it in. All right, let me do that. All right, I see light. All right, I plugged it in. It's blinking, sort of, here, whatever's going on. Looking. Alright, it started blinking blue and it was found. Yay! Alright, so we'll hit next. And testing. Nice, your placement is looking good. Yay! Next. Connecting to the internet. And we're going to say this is the office. And it's registering and finish setup. Let's get your network up to speed. Latest software. We'll do a maybe later. Uh, well, let me install now. Got it. Same thing. All right, and it takes me back to the buy our subscription services. <laughs> So I have another one on this side of the house. I'm going to put one on the other side of the house. And we'll be done. So it wasn't too bad. There was a bunch of glitches with the phone, the fire stick, unplug, replug. Uh, I was a little impatient waiting for it to come online. Uh, you know, just, just little piddly little details that you just have to get through and nothing really to no aha moments that weren't in the instructions or anything that I had to do secret agent man on the side you know that no one else told you in their videos so that's it I'm gonna do the third one on the other side of the house and this one I'm gonna put on the bookshelf I guess so one last thing before I go, in devices I can go in and I can change them, I can give them names. Uh, the apostrophe is turning into a slash, oh well. Uh, iPhone, computer, you can see the, the logo, I can change the logo, I haven't changed these yet. See the laptop, I made a laptop. Uh, fire stick TVs, I made TVs, garage door opener, I made a put a car there. Uh, Desktop, I have it listed as wireless, but, you know, it's not really, you know, i got to change that one. Uh, watch, um, my wife's uh, watch for her Apple phone, connected to her Apple phone. She's out for a walk, so it says it's offline. And so it's that's kind of cool. So you can just go through that, all your devices. I have the basement, the office, the sunroom, and I could rename all those. So I, I had to make a special category. You can go down and say custom, and I created sunroom. So that was that. And uh, so that's, that's kind of uh, nice that you can do. It gives you IP address and, you know, kind of instead of having to log on to the router, every time with the password and whatnot uh, it's it's on your phone and actually it's pretty convenient so here shows my speeds I'm kind of restricted I'm not paying the full you know give me everything you got through the cable company <laughs> uh, so that's uh, that's what's going on there Shows the account settings, the Wi-Fi name, the Wi-Fi password. Guest network is off. 
Uh, I'll turn that on when uh, people come over so I don't have to give them the password and everything. Uh, sometimes when family comes over, you know, they'll bring like four or five devices with them, you know. They'll have a laptop and an iPad and a watch and, you know, they know there's log on all this crap onto the network and so I can uh, just guess them on. And so anyway, it's uh, pretty pretty good. So I am the admin. Pretty good. And about. All right. So anyway, that's my video. I really like it. It went very quickly. I mean, I opened up the box and got the network up and running in literally less than a half an hour and that included all the glitches I ran into the things I didn't understand when I was clicking on them uh, my impatience and everything else <laughs> so that's my video thank you for watching